we are back with Unanswered. This is a devotional where we dig into some of those tough questions that you may have been scared to ask or someone's asked you and you may not have had the answer for it. Let's go ahead and dig right in. Okay, so our question today is, who am I praying to? So many people are praying to different things, but who am I praying to? That is a great question. That's a great question. And it gets at one of the core responsibilities and privileges that we have as Christians, and that's prayer. Prayer is our communication with God. It's an opportunity for us not to just get stuff from God, but to really to get God himself. It grounds us in his will. It draws us closer to him. But the question is, when I'm praying, who am I praying to? But when you pray, you engage the triune God, right? You pray to the Father in the name of the Son, Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Spirit guides you in your prayer. The Son is the one that is, when we say in Jesus' name, it isn't just like, you know, some people would say, it's like stamping, sending a letter without a stamp. You know what I'm saying? No, when you say in Jesus' name, the reality is you're saying my prayer and my posture are in alignment with the will and the character of Christ. And then lastly, we pray to the Father. So where do I get this from? I, I, I like to pull out the Bible so you don't think we made this up, all right? This up. So it's Jesus, Jesus, right? Jesus with his disciples, the disciples asked him to teach him one thing. Out of all the stuff Jesus could have taught them, the disciples said, Jesus, teach me how to pray. And Jesus said, listen, when you pray, this is what I need you to do. This is how you pray. We call it the Lord's Prayer. It's the model prayer. It's Matthew chapter six, verse nine. The first line of Jesus' prayer is, our Father who are in heaven. He addresses it to the Father. So when we pray, we're engaging the triune God and we are speaking to the Father. Jesus Christ is the name that we're praying in, but the Spirit leads us in our prayer. Amen, amen. Listen, I think one thing when we're thinking about who we pray to, sometimes we also think about, is there a right way to pray or a wrong way to pray? And God just wants us to talk to him. That's right. I learned this very quickly when I was a third grade teacher way back in 1998. I learned to pray over my classroom. I learned to pray over my students. Listen, I was newly married as well, and I learned to pray for him because it was hard out there in these new married streets. <laughs> but I think that's just something that we have to realize that God just wants us to commune with him. He just wants us to talk to him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, prayer can be intimidating for some people because in church we see it done in certain ways and we feel like we have to mimic that. But regardless of what you say or how you string those words together, if we're doing that and the posture of our heart is in the right place, God hears us. Amen, yeah. amen, amen. So we're going to close out in prayer. Uh, before we do, we just want to challenge you. Whatever posture you take, make sure that your the posture of your heart is right. Yeah. Whether you're driving along the highway, whether you're in schools, whether you're with your family, when you pray, make sure your heart posture is right and pray to God. So that's my challenge. Make sure you enhance that prayer life and go to God this week. Let's close in prayer. Father, thank you so much for the privilege of prayer. We don't have a God that's far off and distant, but we have a God that is intimate and is close to us. So Father, this week, strengthen us. Give us the faith to engage you in prayer. And Lord, we love you and we thank you. And we give you all the glory. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We hope that you guys enjoyed Unanswered. If you love this content, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. We can't wait to see you next time.